Hey, what's going on? It's Marty McCoy. This is what I'm riding. Today, I'm here to talk about my very special Flamingo graphic. It's to commemorate my mother. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I'm stoked on it. I'm honored that I ride for a brand that would let me honor someone who is super close to me. She was the best and I know she'd be stoked to see this. My mom loved flamingos. She always loved traveling to the tropical places and anytime I thought of my mother, I thought of a flamingo. It was just only right to do that. And on the top graphic, it actually has her handwriting from one of the last letters she wrote me. So what I have on the back of my arm also to commemorate her is a flamingo. And underneath, I don't know if you can see it, it says, I love you to life. And the last letter she wrote, she signed off, I love you to life. Mama. It was kind of like an idea I had to share with everyone else the love my mother gave me and the amazing person she was and you know without her I could have never taken the path I did in life so I'm really stoked that she gets to live on with my skateboarding career and yeah I hope you guys are stoked on it just as stoked as I am because this is my favorite graphic so far. This is what I'm riding right now currently. Usually stickers on my board. Right now, nothing. I kind of, this is the first time I got to ride this graphic, so I kind of wanted it to just be just artwork. No, no stickers, no nothing. Right now, I'm riding my 825 twin nose and tail board, all symmetrical. Uh, the wheelbase is, this is my Andrew Cannon impression. It is a 31.8 long skateboard with a 14.22 wheelbase. It's a VX, it's strong, and it is symmetrical. It is same nose, same tail. For me, it's perfect. I love it for skating street if I'm doing a line where my board needs to be different ways and I don't really have a trick in the middle to switch it back, it doesn't matter. As long as you know I can get comfortable with my trucks kind of doing what they do, it's all the same. Or in a contest, if I accidentally throw down the wrong way, it's the same board no matter what. So for me, it just had many different uses and that's what I like. For those who don't know what VX technology is, it is a top and bottom layer of some really strong material. I don't know if I could say what it is or not. It's not really my secret. I didn't make the skateboard, but just trust me, it is strong. There's a ply on top, ply on the bottom, and it's only five plies. It's super thin, and removing those two top and bottom plies and putting the stronger stuff in makes it way lighter and way thinner. Like in your hand, the weight of it, the, just everything about it is a lot different. It's amazing. For me, it feels a little bit like going down a size. Not so much in the actual size of the skateboard, but as far as weight, how fast the board flips, all those sort of things. So for someone like me, I love it to do flipping grinds, to really do anything. It's just quicker for me and it, you know, it's strong. And even through razor tail, like, this is probably maybe like my third or fourth day skating it, but like really skating it, not just like cruise around, mess around, like, and this is like, like, y'all heard that. You heard that over the five freeway right there. Like this is strong shit. So I promise you, this is no gimmick. This is like the real deal. I'm, a no BS kind of dude. I don't buy into a lot of gimmicks and stuff, but this one is like the truth. It'll definitely change your mind on what newer skateboard technology can do. I've got the Titanium 149 Hollow Kingpin Independent Trucks got Bronson G3s. I have my 54 millimeter slim Richtas, uh, 99A I believe. 7 8 Indy Hardware Allen because I will strip the shit out of Phillips. The reason I ride the 149 Titaniums is because I've ridden the traditional hollows in the past and I feel like the titanium axle is super strong and won't bow out over time and they're just super light, super strong. I've probably been riding these for well over a year and I skate almost every day. So for me, it's just, I'm getting the best use out of them. And with the weight reduction that I get from these, it kind of goes hand in hand with a VX board because it, I just save a bunch of weight. 
NHS top tier technology. I love it, it's good. I never thought I would you know, really nerd out on things like that, but yeah, it's, a, it's an incredible board. It's plain black, classic mob, grippiest grip, you know, all that. This is what we own. I've been running this kind of setup for probably over two years now, and I love it. I don't really see myself changing it up too much. So that's it, that's my setup. That's how we rockin'. I think Jaya did an amazing job, and if you guys like Jaya's artwork, uh, his Instagram handle is at Jaya, Y-A-I-A, gift, G-I-F-T, on Instagram, and he made some other incredible graphics for Santa Cruz, such as Tom Asta's Cosmic Cat. It's also one of my favorite graphics. Special thanks to him, to Tyler, to Andrew Cannon, Pizzle, the whole NHS camp, just everyone out there who backs and supports me and anyone who you know ever had the pleasure of meeting my mother. She was great, she loved everyone, she was so stoked on skating and yeah, without her, I wouldn't be here. So I'm stoked that this is a part of my legacy now. Thanks for checking out this video. Click subscribe to see all the squad. Subscribe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Be a part of this. Subscribe to the Santa Cruz YouTube channel.